Hey guys, it's time for another bow along. Today, I'm gonna be working with some Star Wars ribbon. Cue the Star Wars music. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I don't really know what the, I was trying to think of the Star Wars theme and yeah, I came up flat. Anyways, we're gonna be using these awesome ribbons and these ribbons come from Ribbonology. I'm gonna leave her link to the Facebook page as well as her shop right below the video in the descriptions area be sure to check it out because you know what this movie is coming out this december guys so you'll want to stock up on all of your star wars prints we have some i love droids ribbon that is so cute i did a ribbon haul on this not too long ago then we have these coordinating stripes and then the droid print right here and the bow we will be making today is a very simple one we're going to be making an eight loop flat bow. I know, I never make flat bows, but I'm going to make one today. It's similar to a pinwheel. And look at all these loops. This one has not been completed. I've not added it to a clip or secured the center, but I was just going to show you, give you an idea of what it looks like when you fan everything out. There's going to be eight loops, four on each side, and then you've got all these little tails. And I will share with you what we're going to do with these tails in the end of the video. But I use the Minion Print ribbon for this bow for Kennedy. And this bow comes, uh, this ribbon actually comes from Rollin' and Ribbon. I'll leave her link down below as well if you want to check out the Minion Prints. All right, and I also used the same technique for a simple 3 8 inch uh, bow, 3 8 inch ribbon that is, and this is six loops, so three on each side, and I think it's so cute and dainty, but that's a little clippy. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to be working with four pieces of ribbon, and this ribbon measures 7 8 inch in width, and it's a pretty thick ribbon because of the prints. So it might be a little difficult for you on the creasing part, but everything else is simple. And if you're using a thinner ribbon, it's going to be no problem at all. But I can't make any promises on that. <laughs> Alright, so here are the prints. The olive droids, the droid, the actual droid, um, and then the two stripes. And this is, you're just going to layer these one on top of the other. So I want my olive droids and the droid print in the middle and I'm going to have the stripes, one on the top and one on the bottom. So I'm just going to layer them like this. Just sandwich them all together. Okay, so I went ahead and sandwiched all of my ribbon pieces together. You want to also make sure that all of your prints are facing the right way, like that. Now, if you're familiar with the pinwheel uh, technique, this is the same exact technique, except we're not going to be making four loops, we're just going to be making two loops. And if you happen to need your handy dandy template for folding and making sure everything is straight and even, go ahead and grab it. But I'm just gonna eyeball mine today because I'm just, I'm a rebel like that. All right, so I'm just gonna form the first loop. This is my tail, by the way. And then I'm going to come right here and pull it up. And then I'm just going to even everything out. And as you can see, the black is showing. I'm just going to take it and flip it to the other side. And this is what it will look like. Then we can crease it. There's your tail part, tail part, loop, and loop. All right, crease right here in the middle. And like I said, this is a thicker ribbon. So it might give you a little difficulty creasing and you might use some extra thread but if you're working with a thin ribbon it should be no problem all right there is my crease I'm just going to grab my upholstery thread and secure it and then we'll fan everything out and make sure it's all even before we trim up the ends and heat seal All right, now comes the fun part. We are going to fan out all of our loops. See them right there? We're gonna just pull, just tug on your loops until all are fanned out. This is very easy. And don't worry about your bow falling apart 
because if you're using that upholstery thread, believe me, it's not going anywhere. All right, so go ahead and fan out both sides. You should have four loops on one side and four loops on the other side. And again, my stripes are going to be at the ends and in the middle will be the droid print and the droid ribbon, the I Love Droids. Okay, the next step is to trim up your ends right here. You want all of them to be straight and even. So I'm just going to put them all together and then just clip somewhere right there where they're all even for now. And then you want to decide on the style. For me, I'm going to cut V cuts in my stripes and then leave the middle two straight and then I will heat seal everything. Okay, now once your ends are all trimmed up, what I like to do is just fan them out and to keep them fanned out like that, you can add just a little bit of glue behind each one and lay them flat on each other so they stay. And that's just the look that I'm going for. Of course, you don't even have to fan your loops out. You can just stack them all together if you want. And but this makes it look a little bit a little bit different and fuller. So I'm just going to finish up and then we can put it on the clip. All right, we are finished. Here is our Star Wars bow, eight loops, and it's a flat bow went ahead and put it on an alligator pinch clip and then I also went ahead and added the minions to their clip so cute I love this minions and Star Wars print and ribbon let me measure let's see how wide they ended up being they're right at four and a half inches wide so if you use the measurements that I used they'll be four and a half inches wide and you know what this would make a good base bow for your uh, boutique bows your stacked bows all right and I think Reagan has suggested that we give these to one of her little friends that loves Star Wars. So that's what we're gonna do, our little random act of kindness for the day. We're gonna give these two bows to our friend down the street. I hope you guys enjoyed the bow along. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this Star Wars print ribbon and if you plan on seeing the movie when it comes out in December. I will see you guys in the next video.